Hi, this is Tom Bailey with Commercial Appeal and this week's edition of Developing Stories. The idea is to show you where things are going to be built and what they'll look like. This week we're focusing on an unusual development in Cooper Young. Okay, here is the former Galloway United Methodist Church. It's now a non-profit community center called the Cooper Walker Place. But it was here in December of 1954 that Johnny Cash is said to have made his first public, perhaps paid, appearance at a church fundraiser. And you see that tiny side yard between the white wall of the church and the little drive. That measures about 18 steps deep by 5 steps wide. And that's where some organizers are planning to erect a, a seven-foot statue of Johnny Cash surrounded by a plaza. They've started a $125,000 campaign to pay for it all, but the story actually starts uh, several miles uh, north and to the west down at Union Avenue. Okay, now let's turn into this lit restaurant supply at 309 Union. In 1954, this building housed the automobile sales company. had a couple of mechanics in the back, Marshall Grant and Luther Perkins, who were also amateur musicians. They also had a new friend who was just in town, also a musician, John Cash. And according to the organizers of this statue campaign, one day, Ed Atkins happened to be at this uh, sales, auto sales company and heard the trio practicing here in the back, gospel music. He was so impressed that he asked if they would consider playing for a fundraising function at his church, Galloway Methodist. His wife, Dorothy, was leading the fundraising event. They were raising money to send their missionaries out into the field. Grass area right here that we're looking at. This is the sidewalk we're standing on, that's the driveway, which we're trying to incorporate as a part of this, if it's possible. So you're coming into the ring of fire area, which is approximately in this area. You walk on through, the other square is the center where the statue is, and then you go on back to where the small park area is. Well, what's new is uh, we're finalizing everything for the historic marker. We have a date of the unveiling of the historic marker. Uh, we didn't really know. We, this, we really haven't announced until very recently, until this article, May 1st, as the, as the date for the historic marker. That's finalized. And uh, we've, we've advanced the, the plaza. It's definitely, uh, definitely grown in the detail and um, finalizing everything, going from a concept drawing to putting together actual uh, construction drawings and, and Bemis's generously providing that and in that, in that process right now. Uh, we're in the progress right now of becoming a nonprofit and taking the idea or the message that um, every neighborhood in Memphis has a hero and in Cooper Young that hero is Johnny Cash and Soulsville it's Otis Redding and Orange Mound it's Willie Mitchell uh, and Overton Park it's Alex Chilton, um, Nathan Bedford Forest or Health Sciences Park. We are also the, the ideas are, are, are coming so fast uh, towards the, that it's, you know, we're trying to keep up with it, a sm myself and a small group of people uh, for Legacy Memphis, that we want to uh, approach the new administration and ask for some of this public art money uh, because putting up statues is expensive. And we feel that Memphis is under statued uh, as, as a term, but there's no reason why Health Sciences Park couldn't be Sam Phillips Park with its proximity to Sun Records. So, you know, with statues of Rufus Thomas and B.B. And King and Helen Wolf and Carl Perkins, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, um, this is the beginning of that. 